the point is, if you can sing it, you can play it. And uh, uh, there's the last little part I want to tell you about. So there's these things that are guitar-only licks, meaning they don't really exist in any other instrument. And the question would be why. The answer might be because they don't really sound good as much as they feel good to play. I'm going to show you lick offender number one. Um, there's, this is a fun guitar thing to do. I don't really understand the genesis of it or, or, or the need to do it. So let's do this in, uh, let's do this in A. This is the bend I don't understand. get it is because would a voice do it sort of it's not really vocal and so a lot of what I've been playing lately is really vocal and the way that you can get more vocal in your playing is very simply number one listen to a lot of blues singers if you want to be a blues guitar player listen to a lot of blues singers most of what I play are well half of what I play I think I'm thinking about someone singing and B.B. King Live at the Regal. It's like a better, well, it's both an incredible vocal record and a guitar record. But at first you're like, what a great guitar record. And then you realize his singing is just as good as his guitar playing. They're the same thing. One is just vocalized and one is played on the guitar. And you start to get these microtonal things. So. Microtonal stuff. Do you hear how that's not correct in terms of being perfectly in pitch? That's all very vocal stuff. It's not. It's. Not. That's highly out of tune, but so is a voice when it's in the middle of wailing. It's a little sharp the whole time, and it is the most blessed sounding thing in the world. Steve Miller also does it. You can hear that, you know. Thank you. 